How's it going today, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about why Nikola shooks. So we're going to be talking about a few things about Nikola, including what I think is its timeline to destruction, all the events that are going to occur, how they're going to occur, where Nikola is going to go bankrupt probably in 2021, I think. So we're going to talk about all these key events that are going to happen, why this company just sucks, but, and then we're also going to talk about how we can make some money off of this, so what my plans are for Nikola. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that. If you like the content, think about subscribing, and let's talk about why Nikola kind of sucks. So here I want to just quickly talk about the fundamentals about Nikola stock. So Nikola has a market cap of $6.83 billion. Why on God's green earth this stock has a market cap of $6.83 billion is absolutely beyond me. They have not made any money. They have not done anything of any significance at all. They've made a couple renderings of a few trucks. And they've been shown to be super duper fraudy. So I don't know why they're worth this much. Cash burn wise, all this company is actually really good at is losing money. So Q3 lost $117 million, Q2 lost $80 million, Q1 lost $30 million. So over the course of the year, they've lost like, I don't know, what's the, what's the quick math? 220 some million dollars, which is crazy. That's like a quarter of a billion dollars. And what was the revenue for all of this money that they've lost? 30K. Trevor Milton went ahead and freaking paved some driveways and made 30 grand. Even though he's not CEO anymore, he uh, he dipped out of this situation, which was smart. So market cap wise, doesn't make any sense. They're not making any revenue at all. They're having an incredibly high rate of cash burn. And cash wise on hand, let's see what we have broke down here for cash wise on hand. They have just shy of 700 million. So if we think about it this way, if their cash burn keeps up like this, or if it keeps amping up like it is, then we're not going to have a long time before the cash is all out. We still have, you know, a year, maybe two years, let's say, let's be optimistic, say two to three years before our boy BK comes around. So cash wise, eventually we're going to have to do some sort of share offering unless we'd actually make some money and become profitable, which I do not see at all. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to be suffering from this cash burn situation that's going to eventually drain it down to donut. So what are a few of the other goodies that we have on this one right now? So on December 3rd, GM is going to decide on whether they want to proceed with their deal, which would be quite silly if they did because Nikola like, literally has nothing on hydrogen and all the EV stuff they have. GM is already more advanced than that company. I think they pretty much got bamboozled and they are realizing they've been bamboozled. So I believe that this deal is going to fall through. I think they're just waiting till the lockup period on the shares are done to see what happens with the share price, which is on November 3rd. And I think once this happens, I believe that they are not going to be able to make the badger because I don't think anybody in their right mind would partner with them. And then they're going to have to give refunds to all those beautiful renderings that they drew. They have SEC troubles right now from all of the shady things that Trevor Milton did. Uh, there's shareholder lawsuits that are also pending right now. And the biggest thing is I do believe that share lockup on November 30th. So... I think we're going to see an absolute mass exodus of shareholders on the 30th, and this sucker is going to go oh, plummeting. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a timeline of what I'm thinking is going to happen with Nikola here. So here's what I believe is going to be the timeline of events that's going to happen to Nikola stock. So GM is going bullshit till November 30th until that lockup is all done. I'm sure they want to see how badly the share price is going to get absolutely demolished up until that point. On November 30th, I believe that there's going to be a mass exodus of this stock and all of the current inside people are going to be like, I'm taking this money and I'm running as fast as I effing can. So I think they are getting the heck out of there on November 30th. On December 3rd, when that GM deal has to be decided, I believe they're going to cancel that deal because they're going to say, oh, this stock sucks, which it does. And then they're going to leave. So then December, January of this year, next year, then I do believe that they're going to announce that they're going to have to cancel their badger. They're going to have to uh, give refunds to everybody that paid for that beautiful rendering that they got. And then they're going to have to try and focus more on the trucking aspects of things, which they don't even have any models that are working in that situation either. In 2021, the lawsuits, while well, they're possibly still going to be pending, but I think they're going to be mounting quite heavily because I don't believe they have the money to pay back. Um, all these refunds. Well, granted, they still have a little bit of cash on the balance sheet, but uh, so I think 2021, probably 2022, the lawsuits are going to be finalized. 
Uh, this could be really, really bad for Nikola, what money they do have left. I don't believe they're going to have a vehicle partner at this point either or have been making any money at all. Um, so they're going to be tight on cash. And then also at the very end there, 21, 22, going to be very, very tight on cash because they're dealing with all this stuff now. They've been not profitable and not making like any money at all. And I don't believe that's going to change. And then I do believe 2022, 2023, then they're finally going to declare bankruptcy and they'll finally be dead. So I don't think this one's going to be going anywhere. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and show what I'm thinking I'm going to do with do this one. what to do. So this is what I'm doing. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not recommending you to do this, but this is what I'm going to be doing and how I'm hoping to make a little bit of money off this. So my plan is to play the long game. I think if this thesis were to come true, it's going to be a while for sure, at least after December, when the wheels start falling off in December, which is when I believe it's going to start. And I'm going to probably buy some either long puts or I'm going to do some call spreads, meaning I could make that uh, the money between the premium on the calls and then uh, have that happen over time. Or I could buy some short puts in December, which I'm thinking I'm probably going to do both. Probably buy a long put for uh, January 2022. And then I'm also probably going to buy a short put middle of December. And hopefully that, that lockup period where I think everybody's going to leave. I can't imagine those insiders are going to keep those shares. Uh, just due to the fact that it's been falling like a rock since like 70 bucks. So, gonna go ahead and buy some short puts. That's gonna be about mid December, and uh, hopefully, I can cash in on the GM deal probably falling through, and then probably the lockup going really, really poorly for them. So, what are a few things that's going to absolutely blast him? Uh, so if a COVID bill gets passed, another stimulus pass, uh, if a bunch of money gets injected into the economy and if everybody's getting $1,200 checks, I do believe that this is a company that nobody even looks at. They just kind of buy it. So I do think this could negatively affect me in a way that, oh, uh, I have this money. I'll put it into Nikola. It's cheap right now just because that's the amount of DD people have been doing on this one. So I do believe that could hurt me. If GM actually does decide to partner with them, which I find very unlikely, I'd give it like a 10% chance because I just don't know why they would. Uh, that could also blast me pretty good as well because then the whole entire deal I'm thinking with the Nicola Badger could possibly not happen. They could actually make the Nicola Badger and then you know deliver on sales and actually you know have a product. Well, well it's crazy to have a product, what? So that's my last thing. If they actually have some products too, if they actually have something roll down the line like physically at all something <laughs> something happens so that's kind of my plan with this one i think this stock is doomed unless i see otherwise and if i were to see otherwise i'd just keep an eye on it and i would just sell for a loss if i saw some actual potential happening for this company so do your own due diligence though don't just listen to some dude on the internet i'm not a financial advisor but if you did like the content think about subscribing thank you and have a good one